This is Vader Reviews. We are honored that you would join us. This week's video is brought to you by the generous support of Admiral John Crawford, Captain Adam Jordan, Captain Matthew Nicholson, and brave new hero of the Empire, Peter McGregor. The Empire thanks you for your service. If you would like to be a part of what we're doing here, donate to our PayPal today so we can continue to bring you weekly videos and become a hero of the Empire. By the time you're seeing this, we will have completed another day on location, filming the climactic duel between myself and Jedi Master of Ongzar for our upcoming Star Wars fan film, Fallen Jedi. But speaking of films, Warner Brothers has been on a roll with trailers lately. And naturally, any film about a galactic empire, a chosen one on a desert planet, and space magic is going to pique my interest. This will mark the third screen adaptation of Frank Herbert's sci-fi epic, and apparently playing in this particular sandbox has been a lifelong dream for director Denny Villeneuve. And while I don't like sand, it's coarse, rough, irritating, and it gets everywhere. This film does show promise. So let's start this bad boy in three, two, one. You know, I just realized Platinum Dune should have produced this picture. Perhaps with Adam Sandler. Or Sandra Bullock. Ooh, getting a little spicy. That looks pretty wizard. Some burning sand castles. That kid's acting makes me think of, uh, Pattinson as Batman. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. And you die. What's in the box? What's in the box? Only what you take with you. You've proven you can rule yourself. Oh, he's getting trained by Thanos. Wonder if Brolin's knife is perfectly balanced. None of your ancestors learned. Poor guy, he looks kind of depressed. Is that the Dune Sea? My man! Arrakis is a death trap. Albino Drax. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. I'm digging these armor suits, they look pretty wizard. I don't know who Momo is playing in this film, but I can already tell he's going to be my favorite character. Definitely picking up some Ronin vibes. So since this is all about spice, does that make Zendaya a spice girl? These visuals are pretty wizard. They really do remind me of the original Doom. They're a bit underplayed, but, uh... But it does look like it has some good scope. It's like Lawrence of Arabia in space. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. For the fear is gone. Only I will remain. Oop, tremors! Better watch out! Yes, sirree. Looks like your planet's got a bad case of space worms. Bring forth the Earth Eaters, the great wereworms of the North. Doom. Hmm. Well, there's a bit to unpack here. While this does look interesting to me personally, I can't really say how well they are adhering to the source material, having never read the book. I've only seen part of David Lynch's Dune on the Sci-Fi Channel years ago. Being a fan of Star Trek The Next Generation, I enjoyed seeing Patrick Stewart in the film, but it lost me with Sting in that bird-shaped speedo. So I changed the channel to Animal Planet, where I caught a pretty wizard documentary on Komodo dragons, while I was waiting for Enemy Mine to come on after Dune. Hans Zimmer, who worked with Villeneuve on Blade Runner 2049, turned down the job scoring Christopher Nolan's Tenet, to work on Doom, being a fan of the novel. The 412-page science fiction epic was originally serialized 
an analog magazine before being published by Chilton Books in August of 1965. Dune has been called unfilmable as well as the Lord of the Rings of science fiction. Interestingly, Peter Jackson wanted to bring Frank Herbert's masterpiece to the big screen. I personally would have loved to see what he and his creative team of special effects wizards at Weta Workshop could have done, particularly after seeing the giant wereworms in the Battle of Five Armies. Seeing their interpretation of the various cultures and alien worlds would have been impressive to say the least. Let's hope Villeneuve's passion for the project will shine through, because I'm always up for more great sci-fi. I enjoyed the visual aesthetic of the trailer immensely. Oscar Isaac and Halo armor look pretty wizard, and like I mentioned before, seeing Jason Momoa return to his roots as a sword-wielding spaceman like Ronan Dex from Stargate Atlantis has me pretty excited. The main kid seems a bit moody for my taste, mumble whispering his way through all of his dialogue, but I may like him better in the context of the film. One thing I will say is if he ever plays Robin to Pattinson's Batman, they would definitely be the dynamic emo. But what did you think of the trailer? Particularly if you are a Dune fan. Should I give the David Lynch version another chance before I see this? And what upcoming film are you most looking forward to? This has been Vader Reviews. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And follow me on Twitter, at Vader Reviews. Join the Empire today. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos, and together we will rule the internet. And always remember... You don't know the power of the dark side.